Hi guys, and welcome to Tutorial Grid. I am Cherokee, your host. Yeah! Alright, but today we are going to be teaching you how to make this cool little lens effect, which is um, something like this. It goes in, and then vroom, and it goes out. Now, this effect I used on the Kotaku Zelda video, which uh, people have been questioning me how to do this little lens effect, which is pretty easy if uh, you don't know what you're doing, even if you do know what you're doing. So, I'm going to be teaching you how to do this. Now, in order to set this up, you want to go to Composition, New Composition, and set up a 1920 by 1080, and then we're going to use 10 seconds at 23.976. So, go ahead and click OK. Now, this brings up a new composition. What you're going to, want to do is go to Text, click your text, and uh, I actually have the what's called the Zelda text, which is the what's called the uh, Triforce. You can download it from, I believe, Da Font, or just type in Triforce on Google, or Triforce text font on Google. You can download it from there. Uh, but we are going to call this, um, this is Zelda, an exclamation point. So, yeah, kind of like, this is Sparta, but Zelda is much better, right? I better say right. All right, but to line this up, we have this uh, what's called the action safe. To turn that on, you're going to go to title action safe. Most people aren't going to have this, so you need to have this open. So title action safe, bam, hit that open, center this up. Now, what most people don't know about the title action safe is why are all these lines here? Well, the actual title action safe, this would be considered a 4x3 TV, which are like the old CRT TVs. Most people don't have them anymore, but there's a, there are a lot of networks that still produce video in 4x3 beta. So, yeah, you're going to need this if you ever go into any type of media field. So, this is 4x3 TV. This is a 4x5 TV. Then you have the 16x9 standard def 720, or not 720, but 480 by 720 and then you also have the 720 HD depth, and then you have the 1080p depth. So, um, now you know what an action safe is, and now you know all the different like little color, not color, but the uh, yeah aspects are. Anyway, in order to set this project up, we already have the Zelda stuff um, text in the center. We have that center up pretty good, you know, kind of about right there. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to composition, or we're going to go to layer, new layer. We're going to go to set up a camera. Now I usually use a 35 millimeter camera, pretty standard. So go ahead with that, 35 millimeter, and make sure your text is turned to 3D. Boom. If this is not turned to 3D, it will not work. So make sure that 3D text is turned on. This will allow you to use it with your camera. Yeah. Zelda epic okay now in order to get that little 3d type of effect that I have on here the convergence you're going to want to go to layer new adjustment layer now the adjustment layer is going to pretty much change all the adjustments on all the layers that it is underneath it so with that being said we're going to go to effects and presets and we're going to type in CC lens now CC Lens is going to give us that really cool convergence. So go ahead and pull that on top of the adjustment layer. And notice it's already working pretty well. Um, but it is only affecting a certain size and this is not good. So now to change that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to size and now notice it's at 50. Go ahead and bring that up to where you can't see anything. You can't see that text kind of appear. So we're going to put it at about a 109, 110, whatever. But uh, as long as that's out from the actual peak value of the text, we should be good to go. So now that it's there, we can go ahead and see what this text looks like. So we'll zoom in and notice it's already working really nicely. Now you can also try the, uh, the, uh, the different size convergence. You can like bring it down to the negative values which is going to kind of give this really kind of off-putting uh, effect of it like coming towards you but bending inwards which is kind of cool if you're uh, doing uh, different style effects like you can do something like this you know Telemundo! Telemundo! but uh, we're not gonna do that so 
we're going to go ahead and put that back up to 100 and move that back just a tad bit. All right, now, in order to get the little blurriness or the depth of field, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go back into your camera and go to camera options, depth of field. You're going to want to turn that on as well as you're going to change your aperture. You're going to pull that up just a tad bit. That's a tad lot. But you're also going to turn up your blur level. level. Wow, country's coming out of me. <coughs> the uh, blur level up just a tad bit. And now let's see what this looks like. And notice how that blurs out. It's looking pretty good as it gets closer to the camera. Now that looks pretty cool. Now you can make this as blurry or as non-blurry as you want. I usually like a little bit of blur. It makes it look, you know, cool. It makes it look real neat. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to go ahead and uh, I'll show you how to pan this in. So in order to make this move, I usually start from the back. So we're going to go ahead and hit transform. I'm going to hit the time watch on position and we're going to go ahead and edit that up about a quarter of a second. We'll move that up into its peak point. So we're going to be about right here and then we're going to pull it out. Oh, pull it out. Push it back in more until you are out of frame. So zoom out of frame. So now this is what this kind of looks like. Yeah, I kind of want to make that a little further. Cool. Or you can do something like this, have it come in and then go out real quickly. You can also use what's called an easy ease, which I usually do. You can right click keyframe assistant, use easy ease, or you can just pr uh, select it and press F9. I can't press F9 right now or else my computer will freeze this video. So I will do that and it kind of like just pulls it in a little bit. Actually, I don't like the way that looks at all. Let's do Or you can just take this out all together and just have it move toward the camera. Something like that. Real, real simple. Also, you can change the opacity to where it comes from black and back in. Actually, let's do that. So go here. You'll actually go to the Zelda text. You'll click on transform and you'll hit opacity. Um, we'll go ahead and hit our button for opacity about right here. So click that. That's at 100 and we'll just turn this down and then vroom, then it comes out real quick. Now you can make this look as good or as bad as you want to. I just wanted to show you how to make this effect really quickly. But uh, this is Cherokee over at Tutorial Grid. So if you have any questions, just comment below. Also, make sure to check out our company, Avid Productions 479. Uh, check it out on Facebook. And um, like the video. Share it. If you have any questions, comment, email. I try to respond as quickly as possible. But you guys have a good one.